Welcome to DC Digital Learning. This is BSc Mathematics Real Analysis class and in this class we are going to discuss problems on second mean value theorems of integral calculus. Recall second mean value theorems of integral calculus. There are two forms of second mean value theorems of integral calculus namely Bonnet's mean value theorem and Weierstrass mean value theorem. Let us recall the statements. Bonnet's mean value theorem. If g of x belongs to Riemann integrable functions on closed interval AB and f of x is monotonic and non-negative on closed interval AB, then for some j or eta belongs to closed interval AB, integral of f of x g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integral of g of x dx from a to j or f of b times integral of g of x dx from eta to b according as f of x is monotonically non-increasing or non-decreasing on closed interval a b. Weierstrass mean value theorem. If g of x belongs to Riemann integrable functions on a b and f of x is monotonic on closed interval a b then for some j belongs to closed interval a b integral of f of x into g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integration of g of x dx from a to j plus f of b times integration of g of x dx from j to b. Problem 1. Verify Bonnet's mean value theorem in closed interval minus 1 to 1 for f of x equal to e raised to x and g of x equal to x. Solution. We see that g of x equal to x is continuous which implies g of x belongs to Riemann integrable functions on a closed interval minus 1 to 1 f of x equal to e of x is monotonically decreasing and positive on closed interval minus 1 to 1. Thus, the conditions of the Bonnet's mean value theorem are satisfied. Now, integration of f of x into g of x dx from minus 1 to 1 equals integration of x into e raised to x dx from minus 1 to 1 integrating by parts which is equal to x into e raised to x minus e raised to x from minus 1 to 1 applying the limits which is equal to e raised to minus 1 plus e raised to minus 1 on simplification which is equal to 1 by e plus 1 by e which is equal to 2 by e. And integration of g of x dx from j to 1 equals integration of x into dx from j to 1 on integrating which is equal to x square by 2 limits from j to 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 minus j square by 2 which implies f of 1 times integration of g of x dx from j to 1 equals e by 2 into 1 minus j square. We choose j such that 2 by e equals e by 2 into 1 minus j square which implies j square equals e square minus 4 by e square. We see that j lies between 0 and 1 where j equals square root of e square minus 4 by e. Then we find that integration of f of x into g of x dx from minus 1 to 1 equals f of 1 times integration of g of x dx from j to 1. Thus, Bonnet's mean value theorem is verified and this completes the solution.
problem 2 prove that bonnet's mean value theorem doesn't hold on closed interval minus 1 to 1 for f of x equals g of x equals x square solution for the function f of x equal to x square is not monotonic on closed interval minus 1 to 1 in the light of the fact that it is non decreasing on closed interval minus 1 to 0 and is non decreasing on closed interval 0 to 1. Thus, the conditions of the Bonnet's mean value theorem do not hold and hence the theorem is not satisfied on the closed interval from minus 1 to 1. This completes the solution. Problem 3 Prove that absolute value of integral of sin x by x dx from p to q is equal or less than 2 by p for q equal or greater than p which is greater than 0. Solution Let f of x equals 1 by x and j of x equals sin x in the closed interval pq. Clearly, g of x equals sin x belongs to Riemann integrable functions on the closed interval pq and f of x equal to 1 by x is monotonic on closed interval pq. By Weierstrass mean value theorem, integration of f of x g of x dx from a to b equals f of a times integration of g of x dx from a to j plus f of b times integration of g of x dx from j to b. Therefore, integration of sin x by x dx from p to q equals f of p times integration of sin x dx from p to j plus f of q times integration of sin x dx from j to q. On integration, integration of sin x by x dx from p to q equals 1 by p times minus cos x limits from p to j plus 1 by q times minus cos x limits from j to q which is equal to 1 by p times minus cos j plus cos p plus 1 by q times minus cos q plus cos j which implies absolute value of integration of sin x by x dx from p to q equals absolute value of 1 by p times minus cos j plus cos p plus 1 by q times minus cos q plus cos j. Since q is equal or greater than p which is greater than 0, we have 1 by q equal or less than 1 by p which implies absolute value of integral of sin x by x dx from p to q is equal or less than absolute value of 1 by p times minus cos j plus cos p plus 1 by p times minus cos q plus cos j which implies absolute value of integral of sin x by x dx from p to q is equal or less than absolute value of 1 by p times cos p minus cos q which implies absolute value of integral of sin x by x dx from p to q is equal or less than 1 by p times sum of absolute value of cos p plus absolute value of cos q. Since absolute value of cos p equal or less than 1 and absolute value of cos q equal or less than 1 which implies absolute value of integral of sin x by x dx from p to q is equal or less than 2 by p. This completes the solution. That's all in this video. Thank you.